Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May the 4th. Be with you day, 2023. So we're gonna do a little bit of a range test again today. I have to drive from my house on the south end of Myrtle Beach to Columbia, South Carolina for a work meeting. I'm gonna take two other people with me. So we're gonna have three normal adult sized people. Plus, See, we have a couple things in the front. It's unlocked. The round trip should be right around 330 miles. Now that's also, since we charged it up last night, it's a little chilly, it's only 45 degrees. Perhaps, perhaps I should have preconditioned. Unplug prior to starting vehicle. Excellent. So we have, you can see, at 100% charge, 326 miles of range. So will we make it? <clears throat> now we'll get there and halfway back in Florence, there's an, elect an Electrify America station. So if I don't think we're gonna make it, or I think we're not gonna make it. Good morning, garage. If I think we're not going to make it, we'll just stop at Electrify America for a few minutes and plug in. But we're going to be hopeful. And I think we're going to do it. I really did intend, sorry about the jittery there, to start it. Let it warm up while we're still plugged in. So this is what we got in the front. One bag, of, one bag of clubs, work bag. There we go. The flickering you see on the lights on the camera is not evident in real life. It's just a frame rate problem with the camera. Not really a problem, just kind of something that happens. So... We're gonna get going. Fairly well cleaned out here. Ready to go. Crab stickers ready to go. All right. Let's start her up. Close the garage. helpful if we close the charging port there we go all done ready to go 326 miles of range now actually I don't see miles in your contacts who do you want to message all right so we'll check in with you in a little bit I got to go get something to eat for breakfast first and then start picking people up so well let's do this we got to reset the trip there we go trip one zero miles all right so we'll check apple watch is going a little crazy we'll check in with you in a little bit okay first check in <clears throat> not going great so far it's 46, 47 degrees now. You can see we've driven 3.1 miles. Our range is down to 313 miles. So we've lost 13, 12, 13 miles of range in the first three miles. And I'm guessing that's because of the temperature. It's the beginning of May here in Myrtle Beach. It should be warmer than this in the morning. It has been recently. So I think, I hope, when it warms up a little bit, we're gonna get maybe get a little bit of that range back, but it's making that prediction based on the current temperature, and it's gonna warm up significantly here in just a little bit. So I think that will improve. First pit stop here, eggs up grill for breakfast. Welcome to the Merle's Inlet area, Surfside Beach, Merle's Inlet, Burgess, whatever you want to call it, area of the south side of Myrtle Beach. All right, 
we go. We picked up a mile range. Now it says 314. All right, we'll check in with you in a bit. So we're starting out this, I guess, second leg, 314 miles of range. We have, you can see 18,000 miles on the truck. We've had it since last June. We were in the first wave. We were the first ones to get one of these. Um, first one I know of in the area of Myrtle Beach here. So anyway, we'll check in in a little bit. Here we go. Turn left on Creek Haven Drive. update. We've gone 31 miles. We've lost 40 miles of estimated range on the guessimeter. So a fair amount of stop and start. I think we're going to pick up some of that and get some of that range back here very shortly. We're in Conway, South Carolina. Thanks for still being here. We have gone 90 miles, 90 actual miles. We're on 95 South, uh, coming into Florence, South Carolina. We're gonna be getting off at three and a half miles onto 20 towards Columbia, but, so let's see, we've, done, we've gone 90 actual miles and we've lost 110 miles off the estimated range, off the guessimeter. So not doing as good as I had hoped. Again, we have three normal adult-sized people in the vehicle, set of golf clubs up front in the front. That's pretty much it. So we'll see how we make out towards the end. When we get to Columbia and on the way back, if we need to stop here in Florence at Electrify America, we'll do that. So thanks for hanging in there. If you're still here, which clearly you are, click like, click subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified. There we are. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to 95. Alright, where are we? We are on Route 20. Yep. Headed towards Columbia. We are in full hands-free mode. Guessometer says we have 126 miles left of range, so that's 200 miles left, 200 miles less than when we left the house this morning. We've traveled a total of 136.8 miles so we are not doing well on the average on the um, estimated range I'm watching the road I blocked the eye sensors I guess with the phone so anyway that's how we're doing we'll let you know how it is when we get to Columbia but it looks like we're definitely going to have to make the Electrify America charging stop Florence when we get back. Battery says it's at 48%. Alright, so half of our trip is done. We've driven 170.7 driven miles. And we started with 326 miles of range there on the estimated range, and we're down to 89 miles of range. So we'll definitely be stopping in Florence on our way back. So definitely not as good here as what I was hoping for, but it's what it is is what it is. We're in downtown Columbia. Thanks for following along. All right, so it's in the middle of the conference. We're on a break. 
This says I have 89 miles of range. It's been way off. And there's a charger on the way back home, 47 miles from here, but I don't even want to take that chance. This is the first time I've ever had anything related to range anxiety, but I'm gonna go, there's a charge point charger, it says in this parking garage. So I'm gonna go park in this parking garage, plug it up for the next two hours while we're in the conference and just give me a little bit of buffer. Um, not really happy about having to do that. And I, you know, I probably don't have to, but I'm just gonna be safe. Like I've, if it was just me, maybe I wouldn't worry about it so much, but I have two other people with me. And you know, we're gonna have to stop on the way back and plug it in anyway. And maybe this will save me. Well, we won't have to plug it in quite as long. Okay, next update, let's see where we are. We are on, we didn't stop at the parking garage. I didn't get to plug in there. There was construction around it. So I was gonna plug in for like two hours, but that didn't work out. So took it back to the hotel and went in and finished the conference. And now we're back on the road on 20, right? Route 20, I-20 East from Columbia back headed towards Florence. We're gonna stop at Bishopville, a little over halfway. Florence at a shell recharge station because you can see we're down to 61 miles of range charging station is 24 miles from here we've driven exactly 200.8 miles so far today and the range at the when I left the house this morning is at 326 miles so we are well off that pace so not very happy with that um, we have been driving at somewhere between 70 and 80 miles an hour probably most of the day on here so maybe that not trying to make excuses but maybe that has impacted it a little bit but still think we should have gotten better range than we have oh look it's, i should show you the drive it's a lot better um it is a beautiful drive so we'll see you when we get to bishopville keep on keeping on <laughs> we're in bishopville 37 miles left so if somebody do the math we had uh, 320 miles of range when we left the house. Here we go. We're going to figure this out and plug it in. Shell recharge. Where are we in Bishopville? We're next to like a police station. There's nothing to eat around here. It's a BP over there. That's about it. Okay, so let's see. A little summary here. Left the house this morning with 326 miles of range. When we stopped to recharge, we had 37 miles left, the estimated range, and we had driven right about 240 miles. I didn't write it down, but I think we drove right about 240 miles at that point. So if we add the 240 we drove plus the 37 estimated that was left, that's 277. You know, so subtract that from the 326, that was our initial estimate. You know, we get a difference of, what, 50 miles-ish, 40, 50 miles, less than what I anticipated. So typically we drive it around the south side of Myrtle Beach, Surfside, Garden City, Pauley's Island. At lower speeds, you know, so it estimates a higher range. That's what it's used to doing. Today, we didn't do that. We drove it at higher speeds for longer distances and we had more people in it than what I typically have in it. So that's going to throw the estimated distance off by a bit. But still, a difference there of, you know, about 50 miles. It's still more than I'm really happy with. I had to stop and charge it on the way home where I really didn't want to have to do that. We stopped at that initial charging stop, the Shell Recharge Station, which I do not recommend, in Bishopville, South Carolina. Um, nothing around it. It's next to a police station. There was a gas station like two blocks away to walk to for snacks. The lights keep blinking because I'm standing near it with my phone and I use the phone as the key and it sees, it keeps seeing the phone and turning the lights on like I'm coming near it. I'm just standing here. Um, so, but anyway, I don't recommend that one. It said that when we looked, looked the station up online, it said the charging speed was 150 kilowatts. We didn't get that. We got 70 I called Shell. They said, well, try the other station next to it. So I unplugged the first one, plugged the second one in, same thing, 68, 69, 70 kilowatts. So we only sat there for a few minutes and then left and drove to the Electrify America station in Florence, South Carolina, which is out of Walmart. And there's a couple places to eat right around there. We went into the Miyabi Junior Japanese um, 
counter service Japanese, which is pretty good. There was a pizza place there. There was a Walmart. There were several things there. It's a much better stop. The Electrify America station worked much better. Plugged it in, pushed one button, charge rate, you know, went, immediately went up. And by the time we sat down and I had my shrimp entree bowl, we were ready to go. I had more than enough to get home at that point. So Electrify America station was a win. Shell re recharge station was not today. So at any rate, caused a little bit of inconvenience. And if it had just been me, I wouldn't have worried about it at all. But I had two other people in the car with me and I didn't like inconveniencing them with the extra stops. So I wish we would have gotten more out of it. I'm gonna do a couple more range tests on it, see what I get. Um, but anyway, that's about it. Please click like, click subscribe, hit the bell if you watch this far so you get notified when we upload new videos. Thank you and have a great night.